a judicial action and um, uh, Kenyans have taken uh, 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 notice of such statements that probably they feel well police uh, extrajudicial action and uh, the use of excessive force because if you tell people will crush you the police will crush you that's what it will entail as uh, you see now there's a new awakening in this country about what uh, public officers are saying how different will you be as you if we approve you secondly you are also uh, uh, the civilian face uh, among the police and you know the the security organs that we have but uh, as you took up this job, probably, uh, Professor Kindiki, you became more of them, more of a police officer, not a civilian within. You are donning police uniform, you are all over police choppers, and you, you know, you, you behave like a police officer, uh, which probably took you away from the police direction that you're supposed to give the, 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 <coughs> the, for the forces and became more of a, an operational leader instead of a policy director in the force. Um, uh, how will you be different uh, on this? And probably lastly, you are more on in the sky than on earth. You know, uh, when you want to give policy direction, you want to give guiding, you need to be in office, have meetings, boardrooms, and give policy direction. But uh, you have said you actually went to Lamu 21 days, 21 times in 21 months. And uh, probably, in the operation field more than where you are required to give, uh, you know, operational uh, or to give policy guidance and direction. And that's why the police force and uh, the, the administration, national government administration, is not properly coordinated. How different will you be as we, uh, when we approve you as CSA? Thank you. Professor? If. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, thank you. I've been asked to say whether I'll change my language. Mr. Speaker, I need to clarify that it is true.